Hi guys, Dave and David here from paidforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to show you how to create a email account on your iPhone. If you already have an email account, check out our other video called how to set up an email account on your iPhone. In this video specifically, we're going to show you how to create an account directly on your iPhone and we'll be using Gmail. Right, the first choice you have to make when you set up an email account on your iPhone is which email service you're going to use. Gmail is great because it gives you 15 gigabytes of free inbox storage. Other service providers might offer more, but Gmail stands apart in other ways. So for instance, Gmail has the best spam filter online mm -hmm. and you get no inbox ads. They also have a great file size attachment limit and it's completely free. Yep. So a lot of people also have email addresses that they might get through their internet service provider. But the problem with those is that if you move, your email address doesn't move with you. Right. So you want to have a service that is free and is going to work on all your devices, yes. which Gmail does. And it's going to work wherever you are in the world. And if you move or change your internet plan, it'll still work. Yep. We're not going to use iCloud. So although iCloud is Apple's email solution, it counts against your iCloud storage. So it's not free. You have to pay for it after mm -hmm. five gigabytes and it's just not as good as Gmail right. in terms of the other features. So that's enough about why we're using Gmail. That's why we're using Gmail. Yep. Just use it. Use Gmail. So to yeah. set it up on your iPhone, to create the Gmail account on your iPhone, open settings. Okay. Scroll down to passwords and accounts. Okay. And tap add account. Perfect. Tap Google. Yep. G and Google. This is Gmail. Gmail. Yep. So continue. And then normally this is how you'd sign in, but we need to create an account. So tap create account in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. I'm gonna tap, I'll just say my first name is David and my last name is Payette. How about that? I knew it. Wow, it's almost okay. like you used this phone before. Yeah. Enter a verification code. We'll just enter my phone number here. You don't have to enter your phone number. So Google can send you a bajillion text messages every day. It's just so you can verify that it's you. Mm -hmm. No one's impersonating you and that way you're not creating 10,000 spam Gmail accounts. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I got this code. I'll enter this. Two, four, seven, six, eight. Tap next. Now I have to enter my birthday and gender. Month, I'm gonna say November, because that's the truth. I'll tap done here. Day, one, tap done. Year, 1984, done. Gender, we'll go with male. And I'll tap done and then I'll tap next. Gmail has some ideas. Pay at David 84, David pay at seven. That's a good one. They're both good. But I could also say create a different Gmail address. I'll say, I like jazz piano. So I'll say jazz piano David at Gmail and tap next. How about that? There you go. Nobody had that, huh? Nope. Jazz piano David. A lot of people care about that. Create a strong password. You can either use the one that's suggested here, which is a good idea or tap choose my own password. I'm just gonna use the one that they suggest. Perfect, a strong password and tap next. Your iPhone will save this. Next question, add a phone number. Why not? Why not, yeah. Yep, reset your password. If you forget it, receive video calls and messages. This is good. I'm gonna say yes, I'm in at the bottom here. Enter the code, we got another code coming in. Two, one. Next. So Google says that I already have an account because I've already associated this phone number with another account. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna to go to the bottom here and choose continue creating a new account. Now I can scroll to the bottom, install the privacy in terms of services and stuff. Tap I agree. Thanks, David. So we've got jazzpianodavid at gmail.com. You guys can email me, I guess. <laughs> and I'm not really gonna be checking this one, but feel free. And password, tap next. Boom. Now Gmail is set up on this iPhone. This yep. is an important step, don't hit cancel. Mail is gonna synchronize your mail app with your email box. Yep. Definitely leave this one on. Contacts, calendars, notes, you might wanna turn these off, especially if you're already using iCloud to synchronize your contacts. Mm -hmm. Because what can happen is if you have multiple contacts or calendar providers turned on on your iPhone, because contacts can sync to Gmail, they can sync to iCloud, they can sync to AOL, you can end up not knowing where your contacts actually live. So if you already have iCloud turned on for contacts, which a lot of people will, I would say turn this off, just leave mail on for now, and then you can always go back here and turn on contacts later or turn on calendars later if you want to. So got mail, I'm just gonna tap save here. It's gonna add the account to my iPhone. Great, now I can see that I've got Gmail here under accounts. I'm gonna swipe up from the bottom of the screen, 
and then I'm going to open the mail app to see my new mail. And I see email from Google that says security alert. <laughs> And an email from Andy from Google, who personally wrote me this email welcoming me to my new yes. Gmail account. Definitely not auto-generated. Right, that was really, really kind of him. That's how to create an email account on your iPhone. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below if you have any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.